In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I want to show you how to align shapes by the bottom of the image. First, let me demonstrate the way that Tableau currently draws shapes. So if I go ahead and put name in the columns, and let's set this to entire view, and then maybe I want to change, I want to show a shape for each gender. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a shape on there, and I'll go to my gender mark type and set females and males, and hit OK and then maybe resize them, maybe make them a little bit bigger so you can see the, the, so right now they're all the same size. But let's say that I want to size them by the height of the person. So you would think that if I would just draw, just drag height to the size shelf, that the images would resize, which they do. But what you'll notice is the feet are no longer aligned because Tableau, when it draws shapes, it does it from the center point of the shape and it goes out from there. So how can we fix that? Well, first, let's go ahead and look at some shapes. So let's start with the, a female shape, and the trick is you need to open this up in whatever your favorite editor is, and these have transparent backgrounds, which is nice. And what you have to do is you actually have to double the size of the shape. So the first thing I'm going to do, because I need my shapes to be quite so big, is I'm going to go ahead and maybe change the size to 200, hit apply, and then I'm going to resize it again, and then I'm just gonna double the height. So if I make it 400, what you'll notice happens is I just basically created a blank space for the shape. So I'll hit apply there, and then I'll export this image, and I'll go ahead and save it, save it as a female double, because it's double size, that's just the way that I like to do it. And then I'll do the same thing with the male. So I'll go ahead and resize this, set the whole thing to 200, hit apply, and then resize again, and just change the height this time. Hit apply, and then if I export the image, I could call this one male double. All right, and now, so what that does at this point is if I go ahead and I drag my name back on here again, and I will go ahead and put gender on the shape. Oops. Sorry about that shape. Uh, maybe we can leave the color on there. Let's go ahead and throw gender there. And now if I change my shape, I want to go to my human body shapes. I'm going to reload my palette, pick the female, pick the male, and we hit OK. All right, so now we have these shapes. And you can't really tell, but they're actually doubled in size. And the trick now is if I want to size these by height, I need to go ahead and just throw a dummy axis on the side. And let's say it goes from maybe, oh, I don't know, minus one to 20, something like that. And make the shapes a little bit bigger. Maybe we'll go to the maximum size. And now when I throw height on the size, you'll see all of the feet stay aligned, but the height changes, which is exactly what I was looking for. So. Uh, the next thing I wanted to do was go ahead and maybe I'll take the gen I'll go ahead and leave the gender, leave the color on the gender. I want to go ahead and put heads on these people because you know my family doesn't have just round, uh, round heads. So I need to. I went ahead and downloaded some shapes for uh, a girl with brown hair and blue eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and open that with Sketch, and I'm going to go ahead and do the same process again. So I'm going to resize the image. And this time, all I'm going to do is just double the height. Hit apply. And then I will export that. And again, I'll just put the word double on the end. And I'll just go ahead and, let me go ahead and copy that and save. And then I need to rinse and repeat for the boy with blonde hair and blue eyes. Export that image and do the woman with do the woman with blonde hair and green eyes, which would be my wife, and resize that one. Notice I'm making them all the same height. Export that image. And it looks like I've got two more to do. A man with brown hair and blue eyes. That would be me. Let's resize that. 
simply change the height to 400, hit apply, export, save, and one more to go. The boy with brown hair and blue eyes. Okay, and let's resize that one, make it 400, hit apply, and then export one last time. Okay, excellent. So now when I go back into Tableau, I can go ahead and throw my zero on here again on the secondary axis. And this time I'm gonna get rid of the gender and I want to go ahead and maybe use the name for the shape type. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the size and I'm going to go ahead and go to, I believe I have this under human body. I'm gonna reload the shapes and you'll see I get additional shapes now. You see how some of them are half the size of the others. So I wanna go ahead and assign myself and then my, my wife, which should be here, and then Michael and Oscar and Elizabeth and Henry. Okay, so I'm going to hit okay. And you notice I got all these nice little heads here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this a dual axis. And I want to, my heads probably don't need to be quite so gigantic. So I'm gonna go ahead and resize those. Oh, not quite like that. Need to, actually I probably should just go ahead and leave them at that size for now. And the trick now is I need to align these shapes. So I'm going to go ahead and if I set the scale to be the same, so I believe I did minus one to 20 on the other shapes, you'll see that they're not quite lined up right. Um, so I need to go here, I'm gonna take height off of the shape, off of the size. Okay, so now I just need to sort of play around until I get them to the right spot. So I need to just fool around with this axis, maybe I'll make it 10, uh, that's not quite right. Okay, so let's, let's just play around with the axis a little bit. Let's make this one minus one to maybe, uh, maybe 10. And then let's make this one maybe minus one to five. All right, not quite there yet. All right, maybe three. Okay, not there yet, two. Okay, so we're close. Um, looks like the shapes are still not quite aligned. So I need to go ahead and throw my height back on the size. And you'll see that now my shapes are nice and aligned. Now they are, my heads are quite gigantic here. So let me go ahead and shrink those down a little bit. All right, but you notice that that's also changing the height of the shape. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and duplicate this size here because uh, I have, since I have height on both shelves for the size, that's why it's adjusting the height of both images. So I'm gonna go ahead and just throw the copy on there instead and then resize just that one and you'll see it works a little bit better. Okay, so we're sort of close there. Um, so the trick now is you just have to sort of just play around the axis until you get it the way you like it. So let me go back to minus one to 20 because that'll give me a little bit more refinement options. And then maybe I'll make this one about, let's see what it does when we go to five. Nope, not quite what we're looking for. Four, or actually I probably should go from like maybe minus 10 to four and see what happens there. Okay. And you can see that the head just gradually comes down until I get it just in the right spot that I'm looking for. All right, sorry this is taking me so long here. Oops, maybe 20, 23, something like that. Okay, so uh, you can play around with it until you get it just right, but you'll see that the shapes are now much more aligned. So the trick again is to make sure that you double the size of your images and then you will be good to go. I hope that helps you out and uh, good luck.